Okay, this is a video response for Charlie Sosko for her video on Claire Audience. Uh, first of all, I really loved the video. It was really great. Uh, cleared up a lot of questions for myself and my partner, which is awesome because he gets really spooked out by this kind of stuff really, really easily. And... <laughs> <laughs> I told him about the video and I told him about Claire Audience and, you know, uh, what it means and stuff. And um, what am I doing to my hair? I can't. Yeah, there we go. I can never tell which way is which when I'm on camera. Anyway, I told him about the video and I told him about Claire Audience and I told him about what it means. And he had an experience where he was in bed and he was all snuggled up in his blankets and he didn't want to get out of bed because the bed was warm, and it was cold, that kind of experience. And, um, <laughs> and um, all of a sudden he heard someone whisper his name in his ear and that got him out of the room very quickly and efficiently. Um, whoever that was, thank you. <laughs> Did me a dis <laughs> the, the, I did that. Excuse me, verbal diarrhea. It did me a favor because it meant I didn't. I had to run up to the room and go, Darren, get out of bed. <laughs> so that was more effective than um, my, you know, my way of getting him out of bed. But also in the same room, which is our bedroom, um, I've had an experience which was, I was going for a nap, I was very, very tired, and I had earplugs in. I wear earplugs all the time when I sleep, because Darren snores, and I, ha I like, I, I wear earplugs when he sleeps, but I've gotten so used to them, I wear them all the time now, whenever I sleep. Um, I've just gotten to the, the, the quietness of it. So, um, I had the same thing. I, w I had woken up, I'm guilty as charged, and I was all snuggled in the blanket, and I was like, no, I don't want to go. <laughs> and um, I, uh, what was it that happened? Oh, yeah, okay. Um, sorry, I had a bit of a brain fart there. Um, I was all snuggled up in the blanket and then all of a sudden I heard giggling by my left ear and I kind of sat up and I pulled out the earplugs and I went over to the window and I pulled the curtains open to see if there were children on the street playing because I was like, you know, maybe I heard children giggling and playing on the street and then I was like I wouldn't be able to hear them like you know I can't hear them through the window on a good day without earplugs and with earplugs that's like absolutely no way am I gonna hear them so I went back to bed and I heard the giggling again and um, I wasn't leaving the bed this time and I heard the giggling again so that was three times so then I got up and I got dressed and I left the room because, like, um, I have seen a little girl on the top of the stairs um, in our house and I haven't, I, ha I haven't seen her actually in ages, so I, I don't even know if she's here anymore, but I hadn't seen her in a while and I think that was her way of kind of saying, you know, you may not have seen me for a while, but like, I'm still around, you know, I don't know what the Darren thing was about, so, you know, um, but your video was so eerily close to experiences that I've had over the years, it, it was creepy, actually kind of watching it. <laughs>
<laughs> in a good way. <laughs> but, um, like, <laughs> sorry, but you can never say I heard voices in my head as a, <laughs> as a child without sounding like you're a, a head case. Like, you know, you can't, you can't say, you can't, there's no, there's no way of saying, I heard, vo I hear voices in my head without sounding like a complete nutcase, okay? So, I did hear voices in my head when I was trying, I'm sorry, I can't help but laugh because I'm just like, I sound like a nutcase, you know? Um, and they were the exact same as yours, they were either way too fast or way too slow to decipher anything they were saying and it was just like chatter in my brain like you know I just couldn't understand what they were saying and it was like it always happened whenever I was restful whenever I was like you know laying out I remember it was when it was like in England in um like in the summer holidays or especially in summer holidays like I would always get a blanket and lie out in the sun and you know this is when everyone just wanted to chill out and I would just lie down in the sun and just cross my knees over and just look up in the sky and close my eyes and then it would begin and then I'd start doing something you know, I'd, uh, you know, I'd suddenly start wanting to make daisy chains or something or, you know, do something, you know, so it would go away, like, you know, because it, I figured out that being unrestful made it go away. So, you know, when I became a teenager and it was like you, I, I, became more aware as a as an adult I you know I was becoming an adult slowly slowly <laughs> and um, I was becoming more in tune to my social life as well as my spiritual life and I dismissed them like completely. I was like, oh, babe, I said I labeled it as baby stuff. Like I didn't believe in it. Like, and it went away. And I did myself a disservice by doing that because I lost out on something, something really special, you know. And um, now I only hear tidbits now and then, like. Um, I hear like music coming from one of the back rooms, one of the back bedrooms. I can't tell which bedroom it is. I think it's the smaller one. Um, if I tell Darren that, he'll never go back there. The thing I can't, I can't, I can't tell Darren anything because he gets spooked out too quickly. It's, it's, it's hard. Um. But, um, so, but, um, poking myself in the head. Anyway, but, um, I, I hear music like a flute, uh, not a flute, a recorder being played. Um, you know, the ones they make you learn in school. There oh so much fun. Um and it sounds like it's being played by a child. Um what what I mean by a child, I mean I don't wanna offend anyone kinda of badly, like, you know, do do and it sounds like Mary had a little lamb. Um so it kind of sounds like You know, like it sounds like each note is being played very carefully, you know. So, you know, and um, I hear that sometimes 
but I can't tell which room it's coming from. So, um, I don't want to tell Darren that, so, because I don't want to freak him out. Because I said, I told him about, you know, all your videos, and he's like, like, oh, God, he's just like, is this shit going to, like, the, the first words out of his mouth are, is this shit going to freak me out when I go downstairs? And I'm like, not gonna freak you out. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna live. It's fine. You know. You know, like we have something in our house that turns on lights for for for, for sake, like you know. And he doesn't mind that, like you know. Oh God. Anyway, but there were lo there were so many things in your video that were. So eerily, like close to, and like just so reminiscent of things I have experienced as well. So um, it was really cool to watch your video, and also really cool to share it um, with Darren. I got him to watch it as well because. Um, you know, it got him to understand it more, and, you know, because he was like, he was like, because <laughs> I, you know, I was like, you know, player audience is the ability, you know, I was explaining it to him, and he was like, cool, like he had a superpower, like he was like Superman or something, <laughs> so I was like, I think you better watch the video to be tired. And he was like, okay. And then when he watched the video, he was like, oh, okay. All right then. Bye. <laughs> he was all like disappointed, like. But um, <laughs> anyway, I really enjoyed your video and um, keep making them because they're, your videos are awesome. And uh, thank you for watching this extremely long video. Trust me, the previous one was like way longer because I ramble as women do. Um, blessed be and take care of yourself and your family. <laughs>